Hello, my name is Martin and this is 3D Printing Iceland. In this video I'm going to show you a small device I made to check out filament strength and, and layer adhesion properties of filaments. So let's have a look after the intro. So the reason for this device is that I've been testing filaments like from the maker box and, and done some filament reviews and what I've been doing is to print out several items and some of the items I tend to break and what I've been doing is to break them with my hands and giving you feedback on how difficult it was and just not very scientific, it's just my feel to it and, and it's not a very controlled method of testing so I want to create something that I could test the filament strength and layer adhesion in some more scientific way so I came up with this device to to do that so I'm gonna show you that with a close-up so this uh, begins with this meter here this is a, a meter to wait out fish I brought the, bought this at a local fisherman's shop and, and this can be set to kilos and pounds and I set it to kilos and, and this had a hook on this side that I removed and put in a string here that will go underneath the shield and this is just a shield to protect the environment <laughs> in this side uh, when the parts breaks so underneath here is the string that is attached to the to the measurement device um, uh, this here this here on the top is where I can place my phone to record a video so I put on here and record a video of the screen because this scale doesn't have a um, like a maximum value to store so I have to record a video with 60 frames per second on the screen to measure out the maximum weight uh, before the part breaks so this is just a placeholder for the phone and here is a is a part to align the the moving part of the apparatus and to show you how it works is that I have this part and here I place it in a way that this is the this is printed in this or orientation so I will place this inside here and this will sit here in a groove um, then I put this in here and slide this into this location and then I take the string and, and place it over the, the plastic part and, and align it so it touches the, this part here and then when I pull on this part at some point the part will break and the, the part that breaks off will fly into this shield so it doesn't fly into my living room so this is uh, how the device works so those parts were all designed in Fusion 360 and I'm just gonna show you in Fusion how they look so those are the parts and this is the blast shield <laughs> so to speak and this is a clamp that holds down the scale and this part is uh, at the end of the scale to hold it uh, firmly in place so this will take the load from the scale and I pulled on the scale up to 25 kilos and this is holding up quite well this part so this is a bulky part at the end and then this is the pulling part and the guide for the pulling part and then this is the mount for the screen so those are the parts that I did for this build um, and there like this part and this part is built specifically for this scale I have and but the other parts are more could be used in some other uh, projects maybe but those are the parts I have done uh, quite a lot of testing here's a bowl full of broken parts it's like 80, 80 parts <laughs> and what I've done is to measure out uh, the breakpoints from two batches of 40 break tests and, and put them all in an excel sheet to get the idea of the, how accurate the device is um, uh, by recording the maximum and minimum values from each part uh, I found out that I have about 15% uh, 
uh, error, plus minus 15%. So I was getting for most of those parts like 4.9 kilos before the part breaks. And the maximum value was 116% of that value. And the minimum was 84% of that value. So I'm getting approximately plus minus 15% accuracy with this device. And it's uh, somewhat random uh, because uh, I'm using my hand to pull on it and if I do it in a fast way or a slow way it might give me different results. Also I'm recording the scale and if the part breaks at the point where the scale is displaying a changing value it can be difficult to read on the video but this is as good as I can get it with this scale and, and using my phone. Obviously I had a, like a scale that had the maximum value stored that would make things easier. Um, I might at some point create some ratchet system to do the pulling so I will have a more controlled way of, of the pulling force and, and even motorize it at some point but this is what I'm gonna use at least for for now so I'm, I'm quite happy with the with the device and, and the design. So this will be it for this video. It's a device that I plan to use on filament tests and, and do some more science than just having my hands break the parts <laughs> and giving you uh, values like somewhat difficult or very difficult or very easy to break. So now I can give you some values and then I can put it in an Excel sheet and, and store the values for different filaments and create small, a small database of, of filaments to see how they go. So this will be it for this video. I thank you for watching and I will see you in the next one.